What's going on YouTube? Uh, my name is Andy Pittman. You can probably tell that by my YouTube name. Um, but I figured I would post a video um, about just me this time instead of my dance videos or I have a few didgeridoo videos. Um, uh, I just wanted to post a video because I've been posting dance videos for two years. Um, I wanted to thank my subscribers for following me. Um, you know, the comments I really appreciate. Uh, but yeah, I got a, well, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I, I went to school in Erie, Pennsylvania. It's called Edinburgh University. Uh, I got my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Graphic Design, so I'm an artist by heart. Um, but I picked up dancing about two years ago when um, something uh, interfered with my life. I'll just put it, put it that way. And... To take my mind off of it, I decided, well I didn't actually, it, it was a slow transition, I I was just, you know, up late watching YouTube videos, and obviously everyone knows who Nonstop is, shout out to Nonstop, because he's phenomenal, and uh, yeah, I just started watching uh, dance videos, people doing the robot, and it really intrigued me, um, and just to pass time, I guess, and to keep my mind off of things, I, I would dance in my room, I would, you know, I'd sit here and do the robot and just try to figure things out, um, just out of curiosity. Um, and it turned into much more than that. You know, now I obviously um, dance quite frequently um, and just for fun, you know. And there's, it's really awesome. There's so many people on YouTube that have channels who are really go unnoticed but are phenomenal dancers. And I just love YouTube because you can you can scroll from page to page to page and just see all these amazing dancers, different styles, different techniques, um, and it's really cool to vibe off of other people's styles and uh, draw inspiration from other people, um, who, you know, who have a, a similar interest in dancing. And not everyone is uh, a professional dancer, not everyone is, you know, doing this for their livelihood, you know, like me, I'm a graphic designer, but just got interested uh, through the vehicle of YouTube, which I love so much because there's so much stuff out there. So again, thanks for all my subscribers. <clears throat> thanks for following me, and I appreciate your comments. Um, I wanted to do this video just to give you guys a little bit more about myself. Um, I'm 25 years old. Um, what else? Besides dancing, you know, I'm an artist. Uh, I really enjoy health and nutrition and working out, um, and you know, just hanging out with friends just like anyone else, but uh, I, I, made, I decided to make this video actually because I got a, <clears throat> a comment on one of my more recent videos from Mikey 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 22 and he just said, uh, you should do a fitness tip video explaining how you got such thick arms and legs, just saying. So, I guess thanks for noticing. Uh, but, you know, to reply to that, I wanted to show you a little bit about um, what I do. I also have a, a part-time business. Oh, I'm getting a call here. I have a part-time business uh, marketing health supplements. And... Um, I do it because it's something I really believe in. Uh, about two years ago I started getting more serious with my health and since then I've in about a four month period actually I lost 50 pounds using this particular product line. Uh, the product's called Your Health and a buddy of mine who's a bodybuilder turned me on to it and he got great results, his mom got great results. So. You know, here I am. Uh, but I've always been into working out and nutrition, but these products really help me hone in my nutrition and really take my, my health to the next level. So, I guess a few tips uh, for, for the reply here. Um, these are the products that I take over here. I don't know how focused that camera is, but um, I guess to start it off, I use um, a meal replacement shake. This is uh, your MRP meal replacement with NDS. NDS is uh, we have a um, an enzyme blend. Enzymes are are the catalyst 
that actually delivers the nutrients to your cells where they're used, which most products do not have. And we actually have a patent on these products, and the enzymes are in each of the products. So um, I use this meal replacement to substitute meals. Um, it's got 20 grams of protein, you know, all your vitamins and minerals that you would need in a meal, and it keeps you full. So, you know, I'm 178 pounds now, and uh, for someone my size, and I know people who are bigger who use this, it keeps you full for about four or five hours. I also use this as a post-workout supplement. It tastes awesome. So that's that. In my meal replacement, I throw in the Fiber Plus. Um, you know, it has soluble and non-soluble, non-GMO uh, fiber. So it keeps you full longer. It has an apple banana taste. It's really awesome. And then this product, this is unlike any other product. Um, it's called Super Greens. And it actually contains... My camera ran out of space. So here we go again. Like I said, um, superfoods are something that are so nutrition packed that you can actually survive off of um, if you had nothing else to eat, of course. Um, and you have to eat a lot of them. But super greens are things like spirulina, corella, wheatgrass, the grasses, all the grasses, wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa grass, um, very, very high in antioxidants, high in nutritional value. So this is an awesome product. It's great for recovery um, for athletes. Um, people, uh, athletes in Mexico, Australia, all the big, big names in Australia, the rugby players, soccer players, um, this is, this company is growing very fast because of how well the products are made. So these three products I actually mix in together. So that's the, the new replacement, vanilla, there's also chocolate. I throw on the fiber and I throw in a scoop of the super greens. So that's cool. Um, this just recently I started taking, this is the Your Complete Burn, um, it's an all natural fat burner, has 5-HTP, 5 5-hydroxytryptophan 5 in it, which kind of calms the, you know, the quote jitters, um, so this is a, a stimulant that you don't get jittery from, it's really nice, um, but if you do work out, if you do cardio, if you lift weights, it's going to help you take a little bit more fat off than you normally would, and uh, yeah, it's a great product. And then these are just absolutely, especially these two are crucial um, just for anybody, um, along with the super greens, just because most people don't get the amount of antioxidants, the amount of um, alkalinity. That's something I didn't talk about. Um, foods like the grasses, the wheat grass, the barley grass, the alfalfa grass, um, are extremely alkaline. Now I'm sure most of you know, if you've ever taken a, a high school chemistry course, uh, you have the pH scale, and 7 is neutral, and then you have um, acidic, and then you have alkaline foods. And every food that you put in your body has a pH, um, coffee being the most acidic thing you can put in your body, um, things like meats, you know, red meats, uh, dairy, wheat, all of those things are moderately um, acidic, and there's just an abundance of acidic foods in the American diet. So in order to alkalize your body, I take the super greens, uh, which is extremely alkaline. So this is another thing that is not readily available in our foods anymore because of the way, um, unfortunately, because of the way commercialization has gone, you know, in the past hundred years or even fifty years. Uh, with our food. You know, it's so commercialized, it's so processed, it's so um, degraded, and it's so far from the actual source. You know, when you pick it from the ground, it might, you know, might be a week and a half, two weeks sitting on the shelf before you get it, and a lot of those nutrients, uh, you know, suffer because of that. And then all the pesticides and, you know, all the toxins and whatnot in our food. But anyways, one of the big things that is not in our food anymore because of the processing is enzymes. So enzymes, um, digestive enzymes, and this particular enzyme blend is the blend that's in each of the products. So this is a, is a pill and you take one before a meal and what that does is it allows your body to take say a steak which has almost no enzymes in it. Um, 
And the way you, I mean, the simple way you could tell this is, you know, what do you think would happen if, you know, on a 90 degree day, 100 degree day, you threw a slab of meat out on a, you know, on a concrete slab, and what do you think is going to happen? It's just going to fester and it's going to start, you know, it's just going to be disgusting. It's not going to break down, say, like an apple or a banana would start to get brown. That's because of the natural enzymes in it. Um, so foods that are processed or meats, things like that, you know, really have no enzymes and it's extremely hard for your body to digest those things. And that's why a lot of people, you know, go out to, you know, a steakhouse or whatever and they eat or they go to McDonald's and you actually get tired afterwards. And that's because, you know, enzymes are something that, I just took a human anatomy course um, to finish up my, my, my degree and I found out that there's some like 13,000 different types of enzyme reactions that are happening all the time in your body. You can't think, you can't breathe, you can't blink without an enzyme reaction happening and people, you know, generally think of enzymes as a digestive aid, which they are. But what happens is you eat something like a steak and your body says, oh, we got to digest this. It pulls from your stores of enzymes and it slows all the other functions of your body down just to digest this food. So, unfortunately, enzymes are lacking in our American Western diet. So, I supplement with digestive enzymes. I take it before my meals, especially big meals, and that allows me to break my food down. I get all the nutrition out of it and I'm not tired afterwards. Very, very important for the average American especially. And then next you have um, probiotics. Um, I started seeing probiotics um, on, on TV now being advertised, you know, once daily. I uh, uh, can't remember the name of it, but you know, you should, you're, I'm starting to see these things more often because people are catching on to the importance of, 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 you know, prolonged health and nutrition. So this, is, this particular probiotic has 40 billion um, active micronutrients in it. Which is, which is good, it's a lot, and your body needs that because um, when you take things like antibiotics, obviously anti against biotic is life against life. It kills the bacteria in you so that you get rid of you know, the infection or whatever you might have, um, but we never think to replace those. And your body needs a balance of good and bad bacteria. So probiotics are the good bacteria that strengthens your, your colon and allows you to remove waste. A lot of people don't know this, but there's um, a statistic out there that shows the average 25-year-old male has between 5 and 25 pounds of undigested food that just sits in their stomach all the time. So when you think about that, you're eating food, say you eat throughout the week, you have food that's been, that you ate days ago that cannot be digested. Um, again, because of the lack of enzymes and the lack of probiotics in our natural food source. So putting those good bacteria back into you is very important. And then this last product I take is the Your Repair. Um, you know, it's just a combination, like I'll read a few of the ingredients, kelp algae, Irish moss algae, um, grapeseed extract, and you know, it's just essentially um, vitamins, uh, different minerals, uh, probiotic blends, or proprietary bl br blends rather, and, um, and enzymes. And what it does is it delivers these, uh, these nutrients to particular parts. For example, I used to have a, uh, a lifting injury in my wrist. And I started taking the repair. And what it does is it actually cleans the blood out. Um, it cleans your blood. Um, and it helps to restore, you know, the the inflamed area um, so it's a very good product and then I actually forgot to grab the um, multivitamin I take our multivitamin has you know a little bit of the wheatgrass barley grass all that stuff but again it has enzymes in it so that your body is actually able to absorb and deliver those nutrients where they're needed as unlike most multivitamins like your you know once daily or your Mega Man or um, I'm just trying to think all the different, there's, you know, like 10 different multivitamins you can buy at Walmart and they're cheap because 
they're cheap. They don't they don't really produce the results. And you know, vitamins are something that are uh, you know, unfortunately in our diet or let me say the average American are very very important for um just prolonged health in general. You know, if you want to and I'm not making claims that they can cure diseases, but I sort of believe that um with appropriate planning and appropriate uh, nutrition throughout your life, you can definitely add um, several years. And not only that, but it's not it's not about adding years to your life. It's about living a quality of life. You know, so you see so many people um, in our culture that have these terrible, you know, just awful degenerative diseases. They get into their 50s. You know, I'm hearing people in their 40s tell me at the gym, "Oh, you don't know what it's like when you." get to be my age and I kind of smile but at the same time in the back of my head I'm thinking I can't imagine what they're probably putting into their body every day every day every day and I talk to a lot of people who say oh I eat healthy but then as soon as I start to ask more questions about what their diet actually looks like it's you know well, I get up in the morning I have coffee with a piece of toast two extreme well, Bread's not extremely acidic, but coffee extremely acidic, and you know wheat moderately acidic, um, which just that alone is not enough nutrients to sustain your morning routines, or or even if you're at work, uh, energy levels, and then you go to work and a lot of people don't eat uh, lunch.